Okay, in, in summary, what we've learned, we learned how to accurately measure, mark, position, and bend accurately, and taking our time and doing all these, because all these are interrelated. And the best way to get better at that is just practice. It's an attained skill. Okay, that was, uh, we've ended our, there's no more tube bending we have to do. The rest of it we're going to talk about very basically about tube fitting assembly. And uh, it's very important uh, of, of uh, a component orientation. At the factory, all these components are properly assembled and oriented, but you want to make sure that you don't get a, uh, a component in backwards um, and pay attention to that. Again, you don't want a missing ferrule or a ferrule in backwards. This tends to happen more on two ferrule fitting, and not any particular manufacturers, but all two ferrule fittings, including Parker's. Okay, again, you got to make sure the ferrules are in the right orientation. I think a good way to do that, you'll find out that you may have a cabinet that has loose ferrules and loose bodies, and one of the best things to do is have a little piece of tubing with you of each size, and go ahead and put the rear ferrule on in its right ori orientation, the front ferrule on, well, first we want to put the nut on, then put the rear ferrule on, the front ferrule and use that little piece of tubing as a pilot, put it in the fitting body or this could be the actual piece of tubing you fabricate, take a look at that. Then you know that the ferrule is in the right orientation because what the most common thing to be done, the wrong way to put it together on a two ferrule system is to number one, put the rear ferrule in backwards or leave the rear ferrule out. Both cases you're going to have leakage and if you go to high pressure you're going to have a blowout. That's very important to learn. Not uh, with a single ferrule, that is less of an issue. I have some, seen some people actually put a single ferrule in backwards, and I'm kind of wondering um, what side of the bed they got up in the morning when they do that. But it's, it's, it, it's a less tendency to do that. But with any two ferrule fitting, which is the majority of the fittings out there, make sure that they're in the right orientation. And one thing you don't want to do, 